everyone thank you so much for joining me today so in today's card making video we're going to be making a little mini notelet set and we're going to be using this gorgeous pet tape or pet tape from the washi tape shop this is called spring serenade and it's absolutely beautiful it's got loads of pretty birds and flowers and bees um, so yeah, it's really, really beautiful. And I'm going to just be showing you how easy it is to use this and incorporate it into your card making. And it makes for beautiful little gift notelet sets. So I'm just using my cutter bee scissors just to show you how easy it is to cut the PET tape. The scissors literally glide around the design. So you just can move the design in your hands. You don't really need any pressure with the scissors and it will just cut through really easily. You can use a craft knife or a ceramic knife if you prefer. But I just find it really easy to use my cutter bee scissors uh, to just get into all of those little corners and to give a really smooth finish to the cutting line. So I'm just holding it up against some white cardstock here so you can see the design. And I've already gone ahead and cut my card panels down to size. These are three and a half inches squared. And I'm gonna use a similar technique on all of these cards. So I've got some leftover ink on my blend in brush. I've inked just that bottom right corner. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of stencil detail. This is the Create Happiness stencil from Stamperia. Just to add a little bit of extra interest into that ink blend in. I've already gone ahead off camera and fussy cut lots of the images out from that pet tape. So I'm just gonna pick out that bird and the flower that goes along with it. And then I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to remove the backing tape. Turn the design away from you and then just peel off the colored part from the release tape. It's as simple as that. If you try and do it from the front with the design facing you, it is a little bit more tricky. Um, if not near impossible. <laughs> so it is, I just find it easier to turn the design away from me and then it's a lot easier to get that release tape off. You can just curve the any overhanging bits around the back of the card or you can trim them off with your scissors. I'm just going to use this stamp set, uh, all the hellos from Concord and Ninth, and I'm just going to use that small font hello with one of the little hearts with some VersaFine Claire Nocturne black ink and then I'm just going to stamp that down onto the card panel. I'm then going to attach it to a matte layer of navy blue cardstock. I'm just using some Kalau glue in that glue bottle and then that just gives it a really nice border just to frame the design. And then again I'm going to stick it down to a 4 by 4 inch card blank. So these are really cute mini little notelets and I just think they look really nice. It's a really nice way of using the sticker tape or the pet tape to just add some extra interest, a nice vocal image and no need for colouring and it makes for really quick card making. So I'm going to repeat the process now using different colours, different images, different parts of the stencils. So I have sped this up a little bit um, just so that you can see the process and just how the different designs look different. So you do have slight variations in the designs um, but yeah it's just a great way of using this tape and incorporating it into your card making. I love how versatile that stencil is from Stamperia as well because you've got lots of different details on it. So you've got some text, you've got like some coffee stains, a postage mark, some kind of ledger lines. And so by using different parts of the stencil, you get slightly different effects on the backgrounds. And you could incorporate these designs or this same kind of recipe of card making into your art journaling as well if you wanted to. These would make for great little mini art journal pages as well. And then of course you could just mix up the sentiment and yeah just create really really pretty cute little cards or journal pages so for the third one I'm going to use the twisted citron distress oxide and again I'm just coming in with my blending brush from that bottom right hand corner add in some water splatters and then a little bit of stenciling now you'll see here I wasn't overly careful when I removed the backing tape and so I tore the sticker but that's not a problem because you can easily just line it back up again and stick it down and no one will notice I do just zoom in in a second just to show you that so that even though I have made a bit of a mess of peeling it off you actually can't can't tell on the finished design so that is just something to bear in mind with the pet tape it does tear easily when you're removing it from the backing tape but as you can see you, you can't really tell to be honest so yeah I'm just going to stamp that sentiment attach it to its matte layer and then attach it to that four inch squared card blank that I've got in my stash I really love making mini cards. I think they make great gifts and they're a really nice way of just creating a little set that's very similar that you can just pop in as a little gift for somebody and it's a nice way of just crafting. Perhaps when you're not feeling overly inspired, you can just create really simple designs without much effort or thought 
And it's a way of just getting you in your craft room without feeling like you've got to create a really big, complicated project. So that's when I really like to kind of create these little mini notelets. Um, it's just a way of being creative without the pressure. So again, I'm just doing the same here, just going to attach it to its matte layer and then it's card blank. Um, and you have to let me know in the comments below, um, do you like making mini notelet sets? Is it something you've tried before? Have you tried the pet tape yet? You could do the same process with your stamps, of course, or washi tape or stickers, whatever you've already got in your craft supplies. I'm sure you could replicate this kind of similar quick and easy process of making little mini notelet sets. I did debate as well about stepping these up a little bit by adding some gems or some splatters, but I really quite liked the clean and simple look um, that they were. So, But you could definitely adapt this to whatever kind of crafting style you prefer or like to do. The only thing I held off using was texture paste, um, and I would hold off using that. Because the pet tapes are sticker, you wanted to get a smooth surface to stick onto, and I think texture paste would cause you to lose the kind of definition of the image. So... Yeah, but here's our little mini set that we've made today. So I've got four or five little mini notelets that we've made. They all look slightly different. And I love how they all look together. And then just to kind of finish this off as a gift set, I do just create a little tag. So I've used this tag from Funky Fossil Designs. I've die cut it twice, once with navy, once with white. I've glued the white to the navy slightly off center. And then I'm just going to add one of the little stickers to the bottom of that tag, just so that it adds a little bit of extra interest and so it ties in with the theme of the notelets. I'm just going to trim off the excess with some scissors and then I'm going to use some recycled ribbon just to create the tag around the top. And then that will just finish off the notelet set beautifully when I put them in a little box envelope or, or a little notelet box. Or even you could just wrap some twine around the collection with the envelopes and, and give that to somebody as a gift. So yeah, here's some close-up photos anyway and thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's given you a little bit of inspiration if you have gone ahead and purchased some pet tape and want to give it a go don't forget i have a coupon code in my description box below so if you do decide to shop at the washi tape shop don't forget to use that coupon it is an affiliate link so it helps me out but it also gives you a discount too so as always don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i'll look forward to seeing you in the next one take care